Hey guys, this is Nathan Mann, your host of Beards and Bows Outdoors. Today, I am at Deer Camp doing a little bit of cleaning. I have the full build series and grand tour videos. I'll put the link right about around there somewhere. Today, I am going to go over Deer Camp must-haves. If you have a Deer Camp, this is what you want to have in there. Now, some of the products that I'm showing on here, I'll leave affiliate links down below if you want to check those out. Also, if you like this content, Go ahead, like, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. But the number one thing about deer camp is you gotta have fun. First and foremost, there are no particular order. You gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom. So what I did was I took an old roundup jug, put it upside down, connected it to PVC, and then I buried it in the ground into a five gallon bucket full of rocks underneath the dirt. Secondly, we have the crapper just put a bucket underneath her or this is my redneck crapper and trash can so i use it as a trash can and if you got to top it off with the number two there you go twist up the bag before you twist the bag up you want to throw some of that kitty litter in there soaks up the grossness <laughs> we got number one and we got number two taken care of for deer camp that's living in luxury right there Make sure you bring some extra underwear in case you see Sasquatch out there. And you soil your underbritches. Water. Keep plenty of water. Next up, coolers. You're going to need coolers. In this case, we got beetles, mice, and flies that get in here. So you're going to want coolers at deer camp to keep all the mice and everything out. The bottom of this cooler has three or four cases of bottled water. It helps to keep the water from freezing in cold months. You have paper towels, toilet paper, trash bags. I really started using this stuff again when I went fishing with my buddy and he gave me one of these to get the trout smell off my hands and it really worked. I couldn't smell the trout at all so I was like that's that's kind of a winner for me you got to keep those in there along with dude wipes you got to go number two you won't have any dingleberries left over with these <laughs> dude wipes really work we got some bowls here we got some disinfected wipes so we got plates forks knives and spoons this guy is full everything stays clean this big one also doubles as a bench you can sit on there next up you have the goodie cooler you got some oatmeal cream pies this stuff is delicious got a couple dr peppers down there got some hot cocoa got some beef jerky pistachios and I gotta add to this, but that's grape jelly in there. I'm gonna add some Taco Bell sauce, some ketchup, mustard. So I got mixed nuts down there. I got olive oil for cooking. Cooking some steaks, some deer loins, some ribeyes or something. Be sure to throw a deer cam or two around your deer camp. That way you can tell what's moving around out here. The next one I use house batteries for trail cameras uh, batteries for the portable camp fans that I have out here more dude wipes we got first aid more dead down wind and this is like my hunting pack it's got all different kinds of stuff in it deer skinner if you get you a deer gutting knife I recommend don't get camo but get hunter orange you drop it on the ground you'll be able to find it real easy I'll just keep some extra camo in here. But primarily I keep it in here. This is my portable dead down wind bag and I'll just keep a couple scent wafers in there. Keep it zipped up. You gotta have a buddy heater in here. I actually have two of them. Better to have two, one for backup. This is my backup heater. It does pretty good. This right here, I haven't used it yet, but this is for the buddy heater. Attach it to the buddy heater. You can warm up soup, you can warm up a sandwich, warm up your coffee on the tray. You can use this on your propane stove or the buddy heater. Of course, keep backup fuel sources and a couple other backup fuel sources. Camp cook stove, propane cook stove. These lighters, 
get extra lighters too because these will go out on you get you one of these fold up propane stoves when you're done cooking and it's fully cooled off you can store that inside of there all right next up is an indoor outdoor thermometer that way you can tell what temperature it is in here and outside these are cheap at walmart for 10 pack fly ribbon it is a must have for deer camp and of course, you gotta keep mouse poison out for them because they will find a way in here one way or another. They climb these two by four walls like it's nothing, like it's a ladder. Make sure you have plenty of mouse poison and multiple traps. Speaking of mice, I have a mouse trap hack video right here for those wooden snap traps. It really works. Check it out. Until it gets solar power figured out, these are only $5 from Harbor Freight. They run off batteries. And this thing is incredibly bright. It'll light up the whole camp by itself. And so I put it there by the door once you walk in. Slide that on over. Boom. Get blinded. These are pretty bright too. Guys, get you a nice little side table. And get you some reading material. Now these are used for camping. It is a fan that's got high and low speed. And then it has a main light and a night light and I got two of these at a yard sale for $7.50 for both which is pretty cheap because they're around $30 a piece those run off D batteries and then I bought this off of Buddy it's just six D batteries this camp fan high and low it actually moves the air really well you got the heater going you can turn that on low to circulate some of that hot air these are folding camp cots. If you're camping out in here, all you need to do is unfold this guy, bring a cold weather sleeping bag, and your own pillow. You'll be sleeping in comfort in this thing. Oh, I just made the bed. Sleeping bag and pillow, and you're set. And at times, wasps will get in here, and you can use some Dawn dish soap and some water in a spray bottle, or you can use some unscented like dead downwind soap and water, and it'll essentially do the same thing, but your deer camp won't smell like Dawn dish soap all day. Keep you a range finder at camp because you will end up getting deer out of here. You wanna range your field, all your points. We'll be in camp getting warmed up, cooking breakfast, lunch, cooking dinner, and they'll be coming right up to you. Get you plenty of hooks. That's a homemade camera arm. There's a bow hook. Hold a bow by one of your archer's windows. Multiple hooks in various spots help out. If deer come out and I have my nice camera, I'll throw them on the tripod. I'll throw them on the camera arm over here. We'll get some pretty sweet footage. Not a necessity, but it's nice if you can film these amazing creatures. This deer camp is not just for deer. There's a state park not very far. It's got good trout fishing, good bass fishing. Got a pond on the property. So you got a pond right there. Summer camping, anything. Just coming, hanging out, kids playhouse, you name it. But this is deer camp. Wee! Always keep your weapons unloaded, but always have them at the ready. You never know when big bruiser will come stomping out, especially rut time, they go anywhere. Keep some extra clothing, keep some extra hunter orange, keep some extra camouflage, just in case uh, you decide to go hunting and you forget. Keep a deer call for obvious reasons, but also keep a turkey call because if you use a turkey call, it naturally lets the deer know that it's a safe area. So if you're not seeing anything, try throwing that turkey call out there and you never know, they might just come to it. Also, if you're like me, you get your fall turkey archery tag, you got best of both worlds. For those that don't like getting dirty field dressing deer, you have this kit waiting for anybody. Me, I just need a knife and some water. I mean, that pretty much sums up the basics that you need for deer camp. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Beards and bows out.